Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon and also Rising uh, weekly tarot reading February 21st up until February uh, 27th, uh, 2022nd and uh, if you do want to skip the draw and you want to move right away to the to the reading itself you can do so using the timestamp in the description down below uh, other than that if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us guys just leave a like subscribe uh, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads nor our live streams as well uh, but with that being said moving to the uh, draw the first card for you uh, Gemini happens to be the Ten of Pentacles, uh, followed by the second card of your spread, which uh, stands as the Four of Pentacles, followed by the third card, which is uh, the High Priestess. Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, the Nine of Cups. And the final one for you, that will be the Seven of Swords. Huh. Well, nonetheless, is uh, the week should be in a personal in a personal stage very gainingful, but how really that is going to play out for you is gonna take place in the reading itself coming up next. So you can see your spread now on the screen Gemini and uh, the week is going to be very interesting okay so uh, the first half of the week rather very simple uh, at the first half of the week you are going to make a uh, really solid investments uh, those investments are going to be directed towards you resolving your material concerns which could be with money or with time management or just with family affairs etc etc just these physical things that tangible things that needs to be pretty much done and done and so you can get rid of their plight whatsoever and we can see that here in the, the very first half of the week in between these two cards okay the second half though the subject goes in another direction and this is where uh the week or rather like its explanation it becomes more difficult so i do hope that i will be able to transpire uh, the message here from these second three cards clearly so as i said first half of the week great week you are going to put your resources into uh into work and those resources by all means are going to be set into the right places whether that resource is time or money but uh, ultimately, by the end of the first half of the week, you are to have yourself sitting in a rather quite comfortable status, quite comfortable situation career-wise, uh, within your family as well, uh, into your social circle also. And as well, you will kind of like sever some dependencies that you do have there. Uh, for example, if you have, uh, if you owe money to somebody, very likely that you will find a way to repay that debt. <clears throat> if you do want to buy a house uh, then uh, those cards are or rather like buy a home those cards are speaking that probably you're gonna find the uh, the appropriate home for you especially for that that is so whatever uh, physical or uh, concerns about the physical world you do have it seems that you're going to find their resolution in the very first half of the week not just only that but as well you are ensured that for the future such concerns are not going to be there uh, and therefore you can expect that your solutions are going to be for a long term something uh, more specific about these cards it is that a long-term friend not a lover but a friend may show up uh, into your environment to renew the friendship a uh, one more time but whichever the case uh, the very first half of the week for you uh, Gemini is going to be very productive to say the least and as well uh, you are to work towards your comfort material comfort whether it is with money or just with status and that work is going to pay off a big time and then when you have your physical affairs sorted out, 
the second half of the week takes place and this is where things are getting more complicated to be explained that is for you it will just going to be a, a spiritual process and that will be the spiritual process of actually love and happiness and how these two things actually correlate with one another so when i say love that is love in general kind of like in the grand scheme of things um <clears throat> of course those cards may speak that you are that you may find somebody to to start a relationship with okay or they as well could relate to somebody that you are already in relationship with i'm talking about you putting a really good thought into how love uh, and happiness kind of correlates with one another and uh so the prime uh the how can i put it into words the primary thoughts are gonna take place at the half of the week and uh, you're going to start asking yourself, you know, um, is having a uh, sustainable emotional content, let's say it that way, it's truly making you happy or you are more a person of the thrill. You want something to be uh, uh, passionate because love and passion, they don't relate to each other very well. Passion is a fire element, love is water element, they are enemies. If you are passionate about something, it's unlikely that you love it. It is just that passion is provoked by an interest. In any case, uh, so you're going to ask uh, those questions to yourself. And at that stage of the week, at the middle of the week, you may feel the incentive to withdraw regardless if you are in a family or if you are in a relationship or a social circle or you just have started to interact with somebody uh, you will want to kind of like um, put a clear definition to your experiences for example if you start dating somebody you, you may not know at that point how much that person means for you and so you want to find out that and you do withdraw just to check out do you miss him or do you miss her okay and that way through the sense of miss that defines you know how much you actually love somebody if you miss them a lot then you means you do love them a lot but once you do find the answers to these questions uh, that will put a definition to your happiness which happens uh, in the mid stages of the week okay and whatever the answer to your question uh, that you are going to ask yourself here with the High Priestess, what truly love is to you, <clears throat> you are going to move toward that direction and uh, become happy. It's, it's as simple as that. Now, important thing to be know here, it is that once you do um, understand what, what happiness is, in in relation to love is for you it's important to understand as well that this is not something that comes for granted and it does require a constant maintenance so it will require a constant effort for you to sustain the love as you would wish it so if we have to say it practically here um <clears throat> at the middle of the week you will uh, I uh, define, let's say that way, so you are going to define what kind of a love you want into your life and you are going to start moving into that direction, which will be possible at that point with the Nine of Cups having it here. But like I said, you cannot take that path for granted. You have to put a constant effort in order to maintain it. And at the end of the week, uh, you will come to another realization that it is all about you. I mean, in one relationship or in one emotional connection to something or to somebody, if things doesn't go the way that are acceptable to you and it, it, the, the situation is all about, for example, the other person and never about you, then that's not your situation at all. And I'm not talking even about a balanced relationship, but that 
in a, a relationship there has to be something in it for you as well otherwise what is the purpose of uh, of doing it it's just a very philosophical and very spiritual the second half of your week and these things are very very hard to be explained but if i have to translate that into the material world for you gemini it is just at the second half of the week you will understand what kind of a uh if you want to say a twin flame or a soulmate or what kind of a person your twin flame or a soulmate has to be identify that person and move into that direction now how long is gonna take you that thing to happen by the judging judging of these cards a long time i mean to establish the true romance the true relationship the true love but once it happens, or at least the promise of these cards, it is that it, once it happens, um, it will be for uh, possibly for a lifetime. So uh, with that being said, that was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, Gemini. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.